Hello and welcome back to Drama Investigator. Today we're discussing Trisha Paytas. We haven't talked about her in a very long time. What's she been up to? What's the drama that's currently going down? Well, despite all the recent rumours and allegations that suggest that Moses is probably set to divorce her soon and claim child support, she's actually been really good. She's been keeping out of drama, she's been working lots, Moses is great with their kid, she's a good mom, and yeah, she's basically just living a really good, happy, carefree life. But yeah, despite Trisha being a good mom to her child, there's always people coming for her and shading her because of basically her past and saying that she's a bad mom because of her past. And I read online somewhere that people are claiming Trisha goes out every day and leaves her child at home with Moses to raise the kid when she could just be filming at home. But I think that's kind of an unfair thing to say. And I think she'd even commented about that on Twitter saying that working moms are good moms too and society really needs to change the way how they view women in this current age. But yeah, despite all that, she's very happy, she's very chill. And even when the recent drama went down with Hayley Bieber and Selena Gomez, back in the day, Trisha would have made like a hundred videos on the topic. She loved drama, she was in drama all the time, she was always inserting herself in it. But she pretty much just made only one video on the situation and it said, let's not bully Selena. And that was that. She could have gone on and on and on, but she didn't. She She's just keeping out of it. Okay, my understanding is Selena is a little older than Haley and Kylie. Haley is married to Justin Bieber, who I guess Selena Gomez dated. I did not know Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber dated. I think they were like, I think I was like literally on a curb in Hollywood, like passed out or something during that whole era. But okay. Selena posted something about her eyebrows and then Haley and Kylie post something about their eyebrows, like mocking it supposedly. I don't really know any of these people involved. I'm not like fangirls of any of them. Maybe Kylie a little. She's somewhat on the Kardashian Sulu. But it's 2023. Mean Girls was over 20 years ago. We don't need that anymore, right? Now there is a reason that she is keeping out of drama at the moment, but we'll discuss that in a little bit. But yeah, basically now there appears to be rumors suggesting that Moses may leave Trisha like he had allegedly previously planned to do. And these rumors have come from TikTok. But before we get into that mess, let's take a quick dive into the past. People may have forgotten what Moses had said he'd planned to do to Trisha when texting his ex-girlfriend. Now there was a whole drama to do with his ex-girlfriend and take a pen at all because this is gonna give you a headache and a half. I'll try keep it quick, but basically his ex-girlfriend had accused him of stealthing her. If you don't know what that means, look it up. And there was like a huge drama around it. Trisha had a massive mental breakdown online when this was exposed because it was exposed like right after she got engaged to Moses. So Trisha had basically claimed that the ex-girlfriend was jealous of that, but fans are like, you used to be so supportive of a woman. Why aren't you keeping up that same energy now that it's your fiance that's getting accused of this. So yeah, it was a huge drama that went down and basically his ex-girlfriend had gone online and exposed so many text messages with Moses about Trisha Paytas. And one of the things that she had exposed was these messages here, which showed Moses saying that he was planning on using Trisha for her money. So Daphne, the ex-girlfriend had said, oh, I miss them. I'd love to see you again soon if you've got any free time. Spring break, maybe. He'd respond let's see what happens. I might be married to Trisha by then. Daphne had responded, oh God, if you Vegas marry her before me, I'll be devastated. He'd responded, I'll just give her a baby and collect child support. So yeah, when that got exposed, everyone was like, oh my God, he's going to use her for money. And of course, this is now getting dug up with the current rumors surrounding that Moses may be due to divorce Trisha very soon and claim child support off her. But you know, regardless of all this at the time, they remained a strong couple couple and they had gotten married. Obviously, Trisha got Moses to sign a prenup and I think she'd said that somewhere as well. But regardless of a prenup, if you split up with someone, if you get a divorce from someone and you have a child together, in a lot of countries and a lot of states, you're forced to pay child support. So yeah, after Trisha had her baby, Malibu Barbie, she'd actually changed up big time. She was no longer a troll on the internet and people accused her of being very hypocritical. Because of the whole drama that went down, she pretty much changed her entire personality and said that she didn't want to be in drama anymore. And a lot of people believe that she didn't want to be in drama purely because she didn't want to get called out for what Moses had allegedly done. And
and her past. So yeah, there's been no drama at all surrounding Trisha lately, but there was a TikTok user that had recently made a video exposing some very saucy information from an alleged undercover source that's been saying Moses has been secretly recording Trisha Paytas behind her back and getting ready to divorce her at some point and use that evidence against her. And although he signed a prenup, he'd be entitled to massive child support if he had sole custody of the kid or even 50-50 custody. And fans have been saying he pretty much is the sole parent anyway. So the following video was sent in which has gone viral on TikTok and it pretty much exposed the alleged soon-to-be divorce between Moses and Trisha Paytas. This fairly new husband to an old school YouTuber is quietly making moves to secure the bag. They've been barely married for a year but he is secretly already getting his ducks in a row for the inevitable divorce. The desperate YouTuber who brags about being not cancelable cancelable, but her dwindling views say otherwise, has been too unstable, aggressive, and volatile for the hubby to want to stick around, especially now that a helpless infant is in the mix. He can't even trust her enough to leave their baby alone with her for more than a few minutes. That's how unhinged and immature this woman is. So the stealthy husband has been secretly recording and photographing evidence of her craziness and incompetence to use against the controversial YouTube all along to ultimately expose her. So of course these rumors are now trending on Reddit. Someone had posted this. Could it be that Moses' plan to marry Trisha, get her pregnant, and then divorce her for child support is all going according to plan for him? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually rooting for him to get the child support. Trisha truly is a vile person. Person. The top comments read, as a parent, yeah, he's much more suitable and actually capable of love for his baby and not just himself, unlike Trisha, but he's also a... There's just no way around that. Someone else had said, unless he makes banks on Trisha's back with child support and by taking legal actions against her and her behaviours towards him, he's not going anywhere. He knows he's living with a clown. He enjoys watching the circus while he gets to live in a mansion and do nothing during the day. She brings money in and provides for everything needed. Why would he go anywhere? Unless he gets out with a bigger bag and get him a big house for him and the baby. Another user said, I think he's going to wait until Malibu and any future kids are older. Like in their mid to late teens. He will hang on as long as possible to sponge off Trisha, living in the nice big mansion and making her do most of the work. Not gonna lie, I do feel a bit bad for Trisha because it's not nice to be used by a partner and she is so unstable. I do to think how she will react if he leaves her. I don't wish for that. But on the other hand, she must know she's being played. Why marry a man who tells other women you're stinks, that he just wants to collect child support and thinks you look like Miss Piggy. He has no respect for her, but then I remember how she beat him up. Do people who beat up their partners ever deserve forgiveness? So these rumours are circulating at the moment like wildfire. Let me know your guys' thoughts on all this drama in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy, juicy tea.